to give it a test dump before I spray her so there's no disasters. I love listening to Danielle singing this, don't I always say? Yeah. Her breath control and maturity at 18 is just extraordinary. Okay, this is just to project some of the area. Ready? So we don't need it to be very right up to, up to Hannah's hairline. So it just gives her a little barrier. Okay, middle. You build it up in layers. You don't want it to end up too wet too quickly, because then it won't dry. Listen to that. Gorgeous. Inside. I've worked out that it's actually better to hold my, to, to take a deep breath in and then slowly hum out because otherwise you just end up going, <gasps> really get a bit lightheaded. Okay. Where are we going now? Chin. It's silicon based airbrush makeup. Because um, we've got the prosthetics, it's very tricky to get the colour to lie the same on the skin and a prosthetic piece. So it's actually e easier for us to use an airbrush. But not easier on my face! No, it's not very pleasant for Hannah. I like the finish of an airbrush mm. though. It's much cleaner. Then I'll turn the pressure down so you can get more precise into the nose, really. under and kind of blows out as I do this so it doesn't go into her nose as much. And I angle the brush down so it goes under the piece to try and get rid of the line of the chin. Hannah kind of holds that for me. I close her ear. I don't want it going in her ear. We say it doesn't go in my ears or in my nose. It so still does. <laughs> we do our it's best. It's just damage limitations yeah. isn't it? There we go. Right so that's that bit. Get changed. So then I get changed, yes. <laughs>